here I am given four sets A, B, C and D and I am asked to find each of these following. So the first part is A intersection B. A intersection B will be simply the elements common to both set A and B. Uh, 3 is not common to both, 5 is not common to both, 7 is common to both, 9 is common to both and 11 is common to both. So A intersection B is 7, 9 and 11. Similarly, uh, the second question is B intersection C. Common to the sets B and C are the uh, elements uh, 11 and 13, right? So this is same as B intersection C. Uh, third one is A intersection C intersection D. That means I have to write the elements which are common to all the three. A, C and D. That means that element should be present in A, it should also be present in C and it should also be present in D. So, let us see the sets. The D set has the least number of elements. So, it will be easy for me to check the elements of D. So, the first element is 15. 15 is present in C also, but it is not present in A. So, I can't write 15 here. And 17? 17 is not present in C. So, 17 is no, also not be there in A intersection, C intersection, D. This means that A intersection, C intersection, D is a null set. Okay. Now, fourth part is A intersection, C. Uh, A intersection, C will be uh, C has 11, 13 and 15 and A has only 11. It doesn't have 13 and 15. So, A intersection, C is a single element, 11. Uh, the next part is B intersection D. B is 7, 9, 11 and 13. These are the elements of the set B. And elements of set D are 15 and 17. There is nothing in common. So, uh, B intersection D is also a null set. Okay. Now, the sixth part is A intersection of B union C. That means, I have to find the elements common to A and B union C. That means, so first I will find what is B union C. B union C is equal to, first I will write the elements of B which are 7, 9, 11, 13. And what, are, what more elements are present in C? 11, 13 and 15. 11 and 13 I have included, so only thing I have to include is 15. Okay. So this is my B union C. Now, the question says A intersection uh, B union C. That means I have to see what are the elements common to this set and set A. What are common? Uh, 3 is not common. 5 is not common. 7, 9 and 11. These three are present here. So this set has elements 7, 9 and 11. Okay. Uh, this question you can do it in another way also. Uh, A intersection B union C means the set B union C is the combination of sets B and C, right? So, A intersection B union C can also be written as uh, A intersection B union A intersection C, right? Because if an element is present in B, B union C, then it will be present in either B or C. So, if it is common to A and B, B union C, then it will be common to either A, union B, A intersection B or A intersection C. It will be present either in this set or this set. So, if I am taking the union of these two sets, so whatever elements present here will be present here also. You can check it even with this example. Here A union B is 7, 9, 11 and sorry A intersection B is 7, 9, 11 and A intersection C is 11. So if you take the union of these two sets, you will get the same set. So you can do it uh, like this also. This is method 2. Okay. Now the next question is A intersection D. A intersection D is equal to 
the set A has 3, 5, 7, 11, 9, 11 and D has 15 and 17. There is nothing in common. So, this is also a null set. Uh, then the eighth question. Eighth question is A intersection B union D. So, uh, here I already have B union D. So, instead of trying to find, sorry, here I have B intersection D. Sorry. Here I need to find A intersection B union D. But I don't know what is B union D. So instead of finding B union D and finding this set, uh, I can use this same property here also. So A intersection B union D is equal to A intersection B union A intersection D, right? So this is equal to the set 7, 9, 11, union, uh, A intersection D is the null set, union the null set, which will be 7, 9 and 11, okay? Now, what is my ninth part? My ninth part is A intersection B, intersection B union C. I know what is B union C and I know what is uh, A intersection C, right? Uh, that is this one and this one. I have to take the intersection of these two. So, this is equal to intersection of these two will be the element 11 because that is the only element common to both the sets. Now, the last part is A union D intersection B union C. Uh, what will be my A union D? Uh, A union D will be 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 and if I add the set D also 15, 17 this is my A union D I have to take the intersection of this set with B union C what is B union C? this set which is 7, 9, 11, 13, 15 Right, so the intersection of these two sets will be will be simply uh, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen is not there, and fifteen. Okay, this is my A union D intersection B union C. Uh, 